Hey guys, Mr. VPN here, and today we're going to take a look at how to connect to a Czech VPN server. So this is very easy to do with a VPN app. The VPN app that I've been using recently, and the one I recommend, is Viper VPN. I like them for a number of reasons, namely they have a ton of server locations. They are probably in the top three that I know of. As far as number of servers, they have a massive number, 700 plus servers, and they do write and write all their VPN software and maintain all their own VPN servers. So it really is a, a good VPN service for privacy and security. And their app is awesome. Their app is uh, clearly the best one that I've, I've used for, for desktop as well as for mobile phones. Um, but yeah, they do have Czech VPN servers and it's easy to connect. Typical download, install, download it, install it, open it up, enter your user credentials and you're going to be connected. Then all you do is pick the server from the, from the number of servers they have. We're going to connect to the Czech one. And it took about three, four seconds, something like that. And we're connected to the Czech Republic. And I'm gonna use these little IP locators to double check our location. Czech Republic, Czech Republic. This is still showing Italy, this. I'm gonna pick a new one here. <laughs> that website keeps messing up my videos. There we go, here's another one showing Prague. And this one is showing Turkey as well. And here's another one showing Prague. So yeah, I mean, these things are never, uh, these websites are sometimes not 100% accurate. Anyway, most of them are showing check. So we got, what, three out of five? Should be good enough. If for some reason you find out that the website you're trying to access is not allowing your IP address because it thinks you're still outside of the Czech Republic, one, you need to clear your cookies and cache. Two, you need to restart your browser. Three, you need to disconnect from the VPN and reconnect and see if you can get a new IP address. But actually, most of the time, despite the fact that two of these sites showed that we were in Turkey, most uh, websites that you're going to want to access with the, with the new IP aren't really going to be that... Uh, worried about detecting whether or not using a VPN or whatnot. A lot of times people want to connect to VPNs to watch TV or to watch movies or to access uh, whatever download sites you like to access. And I know I lived in, I actually lived in Prague for four years. So I know that there's a lot of uh, local Czech TV shows that you can't get in any other country. Anyway, what is up with Viper VPN? So uh, the basic plan will get you the PPTP VPN. And that's going to be great for just accessing uh, whatever TV sites you want to access because, I mean, this will change your IP. It'll get you the Czech IP. It'll still connect to the Czech VPN server. You'll be able to connect on your uh, one device, either a phone or a computer, and you can you know disconnect from one and connect to the other. You just can't use them at the same time, and it, this is available for Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android, and it also comes with some free online storage. Now, this is, you know, obviously just a basic package, someone who has basic needs. Now, if you are concerned about privacy and security, and one of your reasons for connecting to a VPN is uh, for these two reasons, then you're going to want to get the Pro package. It's going to be about eight bucks a month, and that's going to come with the higher encryption, uh, what I'm using right now, so 256-bit SSL Open VPN, and you're also going to be able to connect two devices at the same time. And Oh, and with all packages, there's unlimited data usage, so you don't have to track your data usage. Anyway, those are the two main ones that people are going to choose, and uh, both of them, in fact, all of them come with a three-day free trial. So... What I recommend is actually if you want to connect to a specific website and you want to see if it works, you can get the free trial 
uh, fire up Viper VPN, connect to your Czech VPN server and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then you can contact their support. You can see you've got live support here or the ticket support if you don't want to hang around and see if they're online. And they might be able to fix it up for you. A lot of times with these VPNs, you can kind of get custom configurations to connect to or do whatever you, you need to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have fun surfing your Czech internet, and I will see you in the next video.